Here's the Slow Trainer by RC Test Flight. This is the best beginner's RC plane that I have found. I have purchased a lot of beginner planes and built a lot of other beginner planes and this is the best by far. This plane is just the happiest when it's flying straight and level and when it's not it's completely self-correcting. So like I had said this is by RC Test Flight. You can look him up on YouTube. He has some videos about this plane and a PDF available so you can build this plane. For mine, I built the body out of half inch wall insulation foam board from Home Depot. The wing is 6mm Depron and the tail back there is presentation foam board from Staples. It's controlled with a rudder and elevator and I just used 9 gram service to control those. For the motor, this is an Exceed RC Alpha 300 1380 kV motor with an 8x38 prop and a prop saver. And this motor mount on here is just a Mikey's RC style motor mount. I found 18 amp ESC and an orange receiver up in there. It's DSM2 compatible. As you can see, this plane has taken a lot of abuse and has been repaired many times. I've crashed this thing. My friends and family have flown this thing and crashed it. And just takes a little bit of hot glue and some popsicle sticks. And it's back up, ready to go. This plane is very, very, very repairable. It's got a lot of dihedral, which is very, very stabilizing. The only thing that I've added to his plans is a 2.5 millimeter carbon spar in here. I just bent the wings a few times when I was doing loops. Overall, this plane is just awesome. It's really easy to fly, really easy to repair, and in my experience, is the best beginner's RC plane. Plus, you get all these components on here, which you can use for other scratch builds. Now, I will show you guys some flight footage. Alright guys, here I am at the flying field with the slow trainer. As you can see, it has plenty of power. It's very easy to control. It's very easy to fly in a small space like this park here. The dihedral in the wing is self-stabilizing, so no matter what kind of position you get this plane into, it just wants to fly level and straight. So here I bank gain some altitude and you can see it's just straight back to, to flying uh, level immediately. Because this plane is so stable in the air you can fly really close to yourself. Because it's stable it doesn't have any uh, weird characteristics. There's just a close pass because this plane is so easy to fly, it's really easy just to catch. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.